At Rutland Senior Secondary School recently, there was a relay race, push-ups, sit-ups, a blindfold blitz, and a tug of war. And it was all part of Lions Pride. When I say BC, you say Lions BC. BC! BC! On Thursday, three members of the BC Lions visited the school to inspire youth to have a positive attitude, work as a team, and make positive choices. It's all about having a positive approach, having a positive attitude, and, and knowing that when you get knocked down, you keep getting back up and you keep fighting. And, and if you have dreams, keep fighting for your dreams and keep striving for them, and eventually they'll come through for you. It's a message the BC Lions all-time leading receiver knows all too well. Who's ever heard of Johnstown, Pennsylvania? That's about right. One, one. Yeah. <laughs> After being released from several NFL teams early in his career for not being a team player and refusing to take on other positions, he decided to change his attitude in order to have a career in a sport he loves. When I got released from the Kansas City Chiefs after getting released for like seven, eight times, um, I said, you know what, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this team. And then once I make the team, then I'll have an opportunity to do what I want to do, and that's to be a, a leading receiver. Now, it took me a while. I mean, I got on the rosters, but um, I, was, I wasn't a leading receiver for another five or six years. But um, it was just, it was a work in progress. And um, I knew, like I said, I knew what I wanted to do. I had goals of what I wanted, and I just kept fighting for them. It's all about making the right choice and surrounding yourself with, with positive people. So, I mean, that's what my little segment was about. Um, you know, I talked about the choices that I made when I was in high school and how it affected me. I didn't make the right choice at first, but, you know, down the road I was able to get back, you know, on my feet from the choice that I made and, I, you know, I was able to better myself and, and still keep my eye on the prize and, and achieve my goal. To demonstrate the power of teamwork and having a positive attitude, the BC Lions divided the students into two teams and had them compete in a number of activities, from push-ups to sit-ups to a relay race, tug-of-war and a blindfold blitz. You can't get through without like your teamwork. You need you need to work together to get through. You can't do it all yourself. It's a nice little lesson letting you know that on your own, some things are basically impossible to get done. But with the help of others, it's amazing what you can accomplish. And you know, he found his way to Giro to help with all his students and friends. And you can take that into real life. That sometimes challenges are overwhelming for you as an individual. But with good teamwork and with good people around you, uh, it's almost limitless what you can get done. And it's the support that G. Roy has received throughout his professional career, which he hopes to give back to students. I think I have um, a lot more gifts than, than just being a football player. And uh, the, the, the power of words can, can really inspire someone and, and, and help them, especially coming from someone that they might see on TV and in myself. Reporting in Kelowna, I'm Marianne Oakle for Shaw TV.